so a college coach walks in the door at Calvary, and he's coming out to practice. Besides seeing what you have between your ears, what do you think that he's looking at that's going to make him say, you know what, I want to take this kid and I want to take him to the next level with me because I feel like I can build a team around him. Yeah, well, the one aspect that really can sell someone on a quarterback is his leadership, I believe. And that is something that's so crucial and so um, mandatory to have at the quarterback position, being able to be a leader on the field, being able to step up into a throw and take a hit and deliver the ball even though a 300-pound defensive lineman is coming in your face, being able to step into the huddle and know that everyone's listening to you, everyone is going to listen to what you have to say, They're, you're going to take that chain of command and you're going to lead your team down the field on a scoring drive, especially in those crucial moments. And uh, being able to have that leadership, even in practice, to not be lazy and lollygagging around just because it's a Monday or a Tuesday, being able to go out every single day and to make plays in practice is something that a college coach will see and that's something that uh, I think they'll take into consideration. Okay. Now, it's easy to say when you're winning games, and I'm sure you've been in the situations where a quarterback's not winning games. A lot of fingers have been pointed. You know, why aren't we winning? They're always looking for avenues or, or people to make excuses. Um, been down that road before? Have you? Yeah. I've been down that road. That's a tough road to be at. Now, when you're winning, it's easy. I know everything's going right. But what do you think is, is the most critical part of keeping a team together throughout the course of a season? You know, they call it a, a marathon and not a sprint. And that's how you look at the season when you're talking to players and, and coaches. They always look at looking down, you know, take one game at a time. I mean, what can you do and how do you do your part for keeping that team together and keeping a cohesive unit? Yeah, just like you said, a lot of times quarterback gets credit that he doesn't deserve and well, also he gets blamed that he doesn't deserve. I believe it's Peyton Manning who said that. And that's something that's very hard to deal with. A lot of people can't handle that. Being able to take the whole blame for a team is something that a quarterback has to do sometimes. I mean, you have to step in, you have to take responsibility. Even if you weren't the main person that made a mistake, you have to take the responsibility for your actions. And um, that's one thing that's hard to do. I've been in that situation when your team isn't winning football games. I know a lot of that responsibility falls on the quarterback. It's just a natural thing. So being able to bounce back from that, being able to keep your team together in the locker room is something that's very crucial. Being able to tell your guys, hey, you're doing a great job, keep it up. Let's keep going out there. Let's keep working to get wins. And that's, um, I think, the main thing that you have to do as a quarterback to keep your team together in, in tough situations like that. How tired are you with your offensive line? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it can go back and forth. You know, some weeks they can be on the top of their game. Some weeks they're not on the top of their game. And that's going to happen. I mean, it's not something that you can necessarily prevent. It's not something that you can control. I just have to go out there week in and week out and continue to play my game. And whether I make the throw under that kind of pressure, that falls on my shoulders. I have to be able to make the throw sometimes. And they're not going to always be able to handle six, seven guys rushing through the line of scrimmage. So um, I just got to keep looking at my game, keep looking at areas where I can get better, and uh, go from there.